Dion, how are you, brother? You know, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. It's uh, it's it's been an interesting time, unprecedented time, but uh, also wow. an unprecedented time for prayer. So we're uh, we're praying a lot, and uh, that's what we do. I am so grateful, personally. Um, in contrast and composition to friends who have called us asking for prayer on their deathbeds um, from foreign countries, um, I am so grateful that God has also used this moment where it's such a Genesis fifty twenty, and there's so much hope coming through. And we are so glad we got a chance to do the hope issue. But especially right now, we're incredibly grateful that we get to launch and announce that Kathy Branzell, the president of National Day of Prayer, has her story, her article on hope, her commentary, her inner everything. It, we're just so excited about having her be a part of the issue. How is Kathy doing right now as she's prepping for this, uh, her story to launch in Godspeed and for the National Day of Prayer to happen? Well, with the National Day of Prayer, she's she's doing well. She's uh, at home at her home in Atlanta and uh, doing uh, a lot of uh, uh, spots every day. We have a lot of promotion going on, which is wonderful. Um, this National Day of Prayer, as you can imagine, has been a bit of a challenge in that normally we would do our national observance from uh, Capitol Hill, somewhere on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. Uh, right. But with the COVID-19 and, and uh, the CDC uh, recommendations to shelter at home, everybody is uh, pretty much staying home and observing what they ask. And uh, it's made it a bit of a challenge to kind of project out and see what we would do for the National Day of Prayer. Uh, people traveling to DC uh, looks like it probably will not happen. And uh, so we're, we're making a plan B, but the plan B I think is going to be an amazing outreach. Hallelujah, and that does bring up the huge thing. So we wanna let everybody know as you're watching this, you have access right now to Kathy's uh, story in the Hope issue of Godspeed Magazine. Normally, it's a subscription only, but this issue, the Hope issue, we made it completely unlocked. It's entirely free. We did this so that everyone can have access to what God is doing. One of those massive things God is doing is the National Day of Prayer, and it's forging its way through uh, all the restrictions, all the things that are going on globally with the virus. And so um, I want to make sure that all of you have access and you'll see a link above this post where you literally can touch a button and you're in the issue. There is no extra stuff. There's no tricks or it's not marketing. It's just straight for you. You can get right in there and you can read Kathy's story and you can watch her video and it's incredible. But we want to bring you to this question right this second, which is with Dion here. The question is, and everyone's asking this and I've talked to you from East to West Coast, how is the National Day of Prayer doing this? What, what are we What are we going to expect? Is it going to be Kathy sitting at home, or <laughs> what's going to happen? That's a, that's a, that's Where is a it coming from? Seen a lot of people ministering through uh, home camps, uh, oh. just doing what you said, uh, ministering from where they're at. And uh, if the shelter at home is still in place, then we will be sheltering at home and doing things uh, in accord with uh, what we being what we're being asked to do by the. Uh, governing authorities, but we will still have a National Day of Prayer. Most people don't realize that the National Day of Prayer was placed into public law in 1952 and then amended in 1988 to make it a uh, uh, an observation always on the first Thursday of May. So it will happen on the first Thursday of May. No May matter. 7th. May 7th. That's exactly right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the largest National Day of Prayer virtual event that's ever been seen. Every year wow. we reach out to millions of people and we reach out through uh, a broadcast, through live streaming. This year we're going to do the same thing. But we have hundreds of ministry partners that are going to be cross-posting with us. We have uh, a co-host, Will Graham, Billy Graham's grandson, Franklin Graham's son, is going to co-host with Kathy uh, from wherever they happen to be, which we're not quite sure of yet. But uh, we will have Michael W. Smith uh, leading worship with us, Nick Hall. Beautiful. Pulse is going to be there. Um, we've got Luis Palau, who's been one of our honorary chairs in past awesome. years, and his son, Andrew uh, Palau. And then we've got Bishop Harry Jackson, Jim Cimbala. There, there's a whole list of other leaders that are going to be with us.
from around the country and we'll have multiple locations where we're going to be casting from and we'll also have uh, god tv and daystar back with us broadcasting this we'll have moody radio uh, broadcasting it ac across the country and we're hoping to gain um you know a collaboration with a lot of other uh broadcasters whether it's radio or television and and really make this a day where we can gather people together individually and we can pray for our nation, which God asks us to do, to pray for those governing authorities and to pray for our communities because our communities and first responders and people who are working so hard right now to keep us safe and to keep us in a place where we can continue to walk in health and walk in hope. And so we are going to be engaging people, millions of people from across the nation to join us. It's going to be Thursday evening from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, and that will be broadcast out throughout the nation. So uh, for the sake of being blunt and burning this into everyone's minds, May 7th, May 7th, May 7th, May 7th, May 7th. May 7th. Sorry. Um, no, that's great, brother. 8 to 10 p.m., 8 to 10 p.m., 8 to right. 10 p.m. Eastern And for those of us, for those of us West Coast, 5 p.m., <laughs> East Coast, 8 p.m., West Coast, 5 p.m., East Coast, 8 p.m., and all of you in the middle figure it out. Mountain Central, figure that out. Okay. But we're excited to have everyone, uh, you know, in, in, where two or three are gathered together, Jesus says that he's there mm -hmm. in their midst. Can yes. you imagine where millions are gathered together at the same time? Mm -hmm. Praying and crying out to God and asking God to intervene in yes. our nation, not just for what's going on in the COVID thing now, but the yes. as we go through the next several months, um, we need the Lord now more than ever. Amen. I do not mean to say that I'm thanking God that people are suffering and dying from this disease, but I do mean to say that I thank God for the way he's using uh, these conditions, what was intended for evil, I want to thank God, even as we sit here, and especially during the National Day of Prayer, just as we all call a nation to repentance, including every family member, ourselves, everyone comes clean at the foot of the cross. I want to say I'm so grateful for all the incredible things God is doing during and with these suffering moments to bring people closer to him so that some who didn't might have hope in eternity in Jesus' name, that they might come to know Christ or that they might come back to know Christ or that they might get deeper with Jesus. And I, all these things, I'm just so grateful to see the blessings. Uh, Dion, we have a bit of a little secret to announce here for those rare people who stay and watch the end of a video, don't we? We got, uh, you and I have been working on this series and Kathy is joining us in the series. Uh, it's called Daily Moment of Peace. And so we'll start having an incredible short little five minute segment for everyone to watch on a daily basis. Uh, we're going to put that out. I believe you guys are going to put it all over your channels. And uh, it's, um, you know, roughly five, six minutes of just purely scripture and prayer to answer a question and bring everyone to a daily moment of peace. I wonder, do you feel like that's the kind of thing that people are going to need coming on the other side of, let's say the virus starts to back up and people can come out mm -hmm. and the economy, I read today, there's 6 million uh, people lost their jobs. Uh do you believe this daily moment of peace is going to become increasingly important that we take the National Day of Prayer and launch into this daily moment of peace practice more than ever before? Because that's kind of what's going through me. Well, and I, I think you're right. And I, I really appreciate Godspeed Magazine and your team, Jeremy, for uh, collaborating with us, coming alongside the National Day of Prayer and making these spots available to people, because I believe that they're going to be key and critical to help keep us focused on what is important to keep our eyes on the things above because, because it's, it's it can be messy down here mm. I mean, we can have struggles we can have uh, issues you know as you mentioned you know we've got uh, we don't know what is going to happen next but we need to be prepared by preparing our hearts and keeping our minds focused on the things above, as Jesus says. So, you know, what we want to do is to take these spots and encourage people. It's all about hope, bringing the hope of Jesus, bringing the hope of the power of the Holy Spirit into our lives, bringing the hope of the gospel. And so we are really excited about what God is going to do. And, and you know, we talk about being the national day of prayer, but prayer happens daily. So we, we want this to be the national daily prayer. 
uh, emphasis sure. for our nation that people will come to God to um, to cry out to Him and then and then to stop and listen to hear what He has to say to us. Uh, kind of a Habakkuk chapter two moment. Dion, before we take off, would you do us a favor and just remind our audience and your audience the theme of this year's National Day of Prayer? Absolutely, Jeremy. The theme is pray God's glory across the earth. And we, we take that from Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 14, where the Lord says, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So we want to pray for God's glory to cover not only our nation, but to cover yeah. the entire earth. Amen. Amen. And thank you all for being with us today. Thank you, Dion. And for those of you who bring the full gospel of Jesus Christ, we want to wish you Godspeed. Godspeed.